morning everybody welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before my name is katie and i live with my family of four in the southwest of england i'm back again today with my main meals of the week video i do one of these every single week and i also do a grocery haul every week hope you're all doing really really well and you've had a good start to your week so i'm filming this today it's monday i normally film the beginning part of this video on a sunday I'm um, not feeling totally better today, but I was feeling terrible yesterday. I had the flu and COVID jab on Saturday afternoon. And it's just like, I felt fine all like afternoon going into the evening. And just before I went to bed Saturday night, oh my goodness. I had like shivers, um, aches, headaches, all everything you can imagine. I felt awful. And keeping myself dosed up a little bit because... It's not gone away yet. I think I'm a little tiny bit better than I was, but very weird. Uh, there we go. Comes the joy of having the flu jab, I guess. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to show you what we've had for dinners this week, and I will see you afterwards. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Monday, first day of the week. We've got a roast dinner today with broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. Me and Hannah have got some delicious sprouts. You can see them there. Can't wait to eat those. Um, we've got roast potatoes, mashed potato, chicken, and Yorkshire pudding. Okay, it's Tuesday today, and Simon, me, and Rebecca have all got lasagna. We have got some spinach mixed in with our bolognese part of our lasagna. And Hannah's got spaghetti bolognese, and she's also got some spinach in with hers. And we've got some tomatoes on the side, and I'm going to get some cheese out now for Hannah to pop on the top of her spaghetti bolognese. It's Wednesday today and we've got omelette with baby potatoes. Hannah's got some beans and some sweet corn and some tomatoes. She's also got cheese in her omelette. And Rebecca's got sweet corn, some tomatoes, some raw mushroom and some cheese on the side. And here it is. Mine is Simon's. That one is mine. We've got spinach, tomato and mushroom omelette with some cheese in it as well. And baby potatoes, sweet corn and baked beans. Right, it's Thursday today and we're having tea. Simon's already had his and gone off to work. He's had some toast and some other bits and bobs. Um, I have got some gluten-free Genius toast. And so we've all got a bowl up here of some satsumas and some apple cut up. I've got an Activ Activia yogurt. The girls have got a chocolate mousse each. And they've also got some pan of chocolat. It's Friday today and we're having pasta with... Broccoli, cauliflower, some bacon and some cheese sauce. The girls don't like the cheese sauce. Although Rebecca I might like it, but she won't try it. Uh, so they're just going to have some grated cheese on top of theirs. Um, me and Simon are having the cheese sauce on top of our bacon and pasta. Okay, it's Saturday today and we have got burgers and chips. Hannah's got her sausage patty, as she always has, with some lettuce, tomato and homemade chips. Rebecca's got a um, homemade burger that I made last night. Um, she just prefers them because she doesn't like onions. And some tomatoes, lettuce and also homemade chips. And Simon's got uh, a cheese, a mature cheddar burger with obviously some extra cheese on the top. And some homemade chips and some tomato in the burger with lettuce as well. This one is mine. I've also got a mature cheddar burger with some lettuce, some tomato and some cheese on the top. I've got a free from Tesco's roll and some homemade chips. Okay, it's Sunday today and last day of the week again. And Rebecca is having her chicken nuggets with some potato waffles and some spaghetti hoops. And Hannah's got some jacket potato with baked beans and cheese. And me and Simon have also got jacket potato with beans and cheese. And we are using up some of the coleslaw as well on the side. So that is what we've had to eat for our dinners this week. Okay, I have actually acquired an air fryer in the last couple of days from my lovely friend Kat and her husband Chris. So hello to you. I know you wa like watching my videos. and um, Thank you so much. I have actually tried it. I've been a little bit scared to try it, to be honest. I cooked some of the chicken nuggets in the air fryer and I couldn't, I couldn't believe like how easy it was. To be honest, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the, sorting out the baskets, which one you know to just select one but I somehow did it and yeah I've cooked the chicken nuggets and it just surprised me they cooked all evenly all the same whereas if you cook them in the oven you get some that might cook quicker and you know 
go crunchier or over the one side of the oven compared to the other. So they definitely cooked a lot more evenly. So before I do any actual meals in the air fryer, I'm definitely going to have a, like a few test goes with it and see what I can do in it because I'm not entirely sure. If anybody's got any tried and tested lovely jubbly air fryer meals, let me know. We're not massive meat lovers in this house, so just uh, let me know. Please, I would, I would really appreciate that. So any ideas? I'm waffling a lot. And that's probably because I'm not feeling so good, but I'm absolutely boiling as well. So it's going to just take a little bit of time to experiment, I think. Um, but it's, it's so far, it was quite exciting to use the first time. So definitely be trying a lot more things in it. Yeah, so we've had our lasagna this week. And me and Rebecca and Simon all absolutely love a lasagna. Um, and that's quite an easy one to do. Just separate a little portion out for Hannah of the bolognese mix. And she'll have spaghetti bolognese with it. So that's easy enough to do. Yeah, the cheesy pasta with broccoli cauliflower with bacon is a little bit tight. Like, I find it a little bit difficult to do. We don't have it very often. I used to do it often. But I need about 20 hands because now, especially now, I've got to do gluten-free pasta for me as well. I mean, I could do everybody gluten-free pasta. That would save time. But obviously, it's a bit more costly. So um, I tend to just do that everybody's separate pasta to me. Uh, which means I've got to do the pastas separately, I've got to do the bacon, I've got to do the broccoli, the cauliflower and the, make a cheese sauce. Which I mean I know I could use a shop bought cheese sauce but to me they don't, they're don't not cheesy enough. <laughs> so I, I do put quite a lot of cheese in our cheese sauce. So probably not the healthiest but we like cheese so you know it's all good. Anyway just started cooking our roast dinner for today and I've got to go make some Yorkshire puddings now um, yeah so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed my meals of the week video and I will see you in the next couple of days for my shopping haul we're off to Sainsbury's this week so that'll be very interesting a little see you know we might do a bit of a comparison to Tesco's because Tesco is my usual shop I'm quite loyal to Tesco I mean, I'm open to trying other places, but I am quite a loyal Tesco shopper. Um, I do prefer their produce and everything, so... But it's nice to try other places and see what they have to offer. Um, yeah, so I will see you back on Wednesday evening for that video. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you really soon. Goodbye!